our class 6 pupils. This is another social studies lesson that we want to learn about beef farming in Kenya and Tanzania. These are two countries which border each other. Kenya is to the north of Tanzania and Tanzania is to the south of Kenya. Uh, we have beef farming. This is the keeping of cattle for meat. It's the layering of cattle for meat. Uh, this cattle which are layered for meat, they are layered in large farms which are known as the ranches. They are layered in large farms which are known as the ranches. Then we have the dividing of these ranches. That when uh, one, uh, when we have cattle feeding on this area, they move to another area. We have these small pieces of land, we know them as the paddocks. They are known as the paddocks. Lunches are divided into small pieces of land known as the paddocks. Uh, the type of cattle which are layered for meat, we have one, is the bolana. Bolana is one type of cattle layered for meat. The other one is the Abaddon Agas. Another one is the Hereford. We have the Hereford. Another type of uh, cattle is the Zebu. And we have the Karais. I repeat once more. We have the Borana, the Abaddon Agas, the Hereford, the Zebu, and the Karais. We have ways of improving these uh, livestock. We have three ways of improving the quality of the livestock in Kenya and Tanzania. We have one is through cross breeding. The cross breeding of this uh, cattle. We have the breeding of the Borana together with the Zebu to produce a high quality breed. Another one is through the veterinary uh, services. We have uh, the doctors who treat the animals, are known as the veterinary doctors. So we have uh, the, uh, they do the cross breeding. Then we have another one that is the drilling of water holes in these uh, areas we are we rear these beef cattle. Those are the three ways of improving the quality of livestock in the beef farming areas. Uh, we have the beef farming in our country, Kenya. We have the beef farming in Kenya. The main areas where we have the beef farming is Machakos. We have Laikipia, Nyeri, Meru, Vika, and Kajado. These are main areas where we have the beef farming. Again, we have the Machakos, Laikipia, Nyeri, Meru, Vika, and Kajado. Uh, we have the KMC. In full, it means the Kenya Meat Commission. The Kenya Meat Commission will buy the cattle from the farmers and then they take them to the slaughter houses where they will slaughter the cattle and then sell the meat. We have uh, the beef farming in Tanzania. Beef farming in Tanzania is done in a main ranch and the main ranch in Tanzania is the Kongwa ranch. This is where we have the main, main, main uh, beef farming in Tanzania. It's known as the Kongwa ranch. We have the contributions, contributions of beef farming to the economy of Kenya and Tanzania. One, we have it earns income to farmers, both in Kenya and Tanzania, improving their life, their living standards. Another one is, it's a source of food. Remember, after the slaughtering of these animals, we get the meat. Meat is a source of food which will add to our body's protein. Another one is, it's a source of employment. Very many people will be employed in the industries, in these uh, slaughter houses, in the Kenya Meat Commission, and uh, even in the transportation, we still require drivers 
who will be used in the transporting of uh, the animals to the slaughter houses. We have uh, uh, the earning of the foreign exchange after selling, after exporting the meat outside the outside Kenya and also Tanzania. In return, the economy will get the foreign exchange. We have the problems, the problems facing beef farming in Kenya and Tanzania. One is pest and diseases. Pest and diseases. This is the main problem facing beef farming in Kenya and Tanzania. Another one is the prolonged drought. We find that when we have the prolonged drought, the grass will dry up. And when it dry up, we find animals are dying because of hunger. Inadequate slaughter houses. We don't have enough slaughter houses, so it takes time to slaughter the animals. The poor infrastructure, and when I talk about the poor infrastructure, these are the poor roads, whereby we have farmers will find it uh, very rough to take uh, the animals to the slaughterhouses, and from the slaughterhouses to the butcheries where meat is sold, so it becomes a problem. The other one is the overstocking. The farmers will overstock, they keep large hands of cattle. And when they keep large hands of cattle, this cattle will consume all the grass, leading to soil erosion. Uh, so that one becomes a problem. We'll continue with our next lesson another time. Thank you. Have a good day.